Hello, you. Yes, I said yesterday I was going to do a video about um, the legacy of um, James Lloyd Evans and the Lloyd Evans channel, because apparently it's all it's all about the legacy. <laughs> it's got nothing to do with the money, but it's all about the legacy. The um, leaked um, posting that he made on Patreon, which um, Jake Vaughan at, Alt at Altworldly, the Twitter, managed to, to reveal to us all was really interesting. Um, and there's some really interesting bits in it. I have read it once before, but um, the bits in it where he says, um, he says, in, in relation to his channel and his work, he says, um, I care, I care too much. I care too passionately about my 10 years of activism against the Jehovah's Witness organization to let this defamatory material stay floating around online, potentially tarnishing my work long after I am gone. Right, so long, he, he's, he's, he's worried that his, um, his, his, his work will be tarnished long after he's gone. And he also then goes on to, to read on about, he says, uh, I hope you can all understand that the, the same re resilience informs my efforts to clear my, my name so that my work and legacy can be protected. So apparently it's all about the work and the legacy of um, James Lloyd Evans. Got absolutely nothing to do with the ka the money at all. And what I said at the time was, um, clearly, um, if the person's done the most damage to his work and his legacy, is um, him. So I was thinking about other people who did some good work in the past, but their legacy is not, it's not their good work that we remember, or their good name anymore. The, the list is long and massive. Um, so if you think about, for instance, Clinton, he brokered a peace deal, uh, deal between uh, Palestine and Israel. Remember that famous photograph where he, he, he had his arms and let uh, yeah, Yasser Arafat and the other bloke, um, you know, shake hands and that and welcome them together. And then, of course, <laughs> if we ever think of Bill Clinton now, we only think about a couple of things. We think about a cigar. I won't go into the story about the cigar. We think about him going... You know, actually seeing a statement that he had no sexual relations with that woman and then later having to retract that and saying, actually, I did. I just didn't think that oral sex counted as uh, as uh, sexual interaction. Bizarre. That's why it's called oral sex. Yeah, bizarrely. Don't know why that never dawned on him. And now, now it doesn't matter what. Bill Clinton could have done fantastic things, you know, uh, when he was, you know... The, uh, uh, got impeached as well, I forgot about that. He could have done fantastic things, but unfortunately his legacy is now tarnished. If, ever, if we ever think about Bill Clinton, the first thing that comes to mind is Monica Lewinsky, that dress, that stain, if only she had um, swallowed and not spat out, and then maybe none of this had happened. But that's his legacy. The legacy, all the good things that he may have done, you know, is all ruined because of um, what happened in the fact that uh, he got involved in a sex scandal. I think of somebody else, Harvey Weinstein. Um, did, he produced a lot of good content. His, his Miramax um, film company, along with his brother, produced some great, great films. And he's down as the producer, on, and his name will never be removed as producer. So every, t every time I watch, because I'm a big Lord of the Rings fan, and every time I watch any of the trilogy and the not particularly uh, good uh, Hobbit uh, trilogy, the first one was pretty good, the second one okay, but oh god, what happened in the third one? Um, but ever, whenever t we, you know, me and my son watch uh, the Lord of the Rings, we always sort of uh, look. It's, it's not, it's not good to chuckle, but it always comes up as Harvey Weinstein in the um, as being a producer, a producer. Yet ne when we think of Harvey Weinstein now. Do we think about him being a producer and, um, and all the great work that he was involved with? And there's a whole host of, of films that he was involved with, uh, including the Lord of the Rings trilogy. No, we don't think of that at all. Um, just because you produce great work, that, that doesn't mean that you cannot escape the consequences of a set scandal. And now, of course, Harvey <laughs> is actually... Um, I think he's in prison, doing 23 months, I believe, uh, for a whole series of um, 
uh, sex scandals. When we think about Prince uh, Andrew, Prince Andrew, for instance, during the Falkland War, he actually flew a, a helicopter to try and get the Exocet mi missiles, you know, fired by the Argentinians, and, and to actually for him to be the target to try and take it away from the troop carriers he really really did put his life on the line and then he was in, he was a patron of a whole load of charities and obviously people benefited by him being a patron of the, the charity so a lot of people benefited out of his name being there and him turning up at events but when we think of the legacy of prince andrew what do we think about now you can only think about uh, Virginia Defray, we think about that picture where he has no memory at all of that picture getting taken, of ever meeting her, but he's managed to pay somebody he's never met uh, a photograph that he doesn't remember being taken, £12 million pounds, or £12 million dollars, and obviously he's another person who doesn't have a job and solely lives off other people's contrib uh, contributions, i.e. the British taxpayer, you know, for him to, to fund his lifestyle. Yet that's that's his legacy gone. It doesn't matter all the good things he's done in the past. Um, the man, that when we think about the legacy of Prince Andrew, that will be his legacy f from now till the, the, till the day he dies. You know, <laughs> it's absolutely ruined. And then we think about um, James Lord Evans. Produced a lot of good content and a lot of people have benefited from the things that he did, but his legacy has been ruined by being involved in a sex scandal. It's been ruined by a sex scandal and he wants to somehow remove this, this scandal from history. And his attempts to do this by trying to extort money out of the 12 is only, <laughs> as I said before, making this worse. If you think about it now, if you think about the legacy of, of the man, eventually there's going to be a time, and hopefully more sooner than later, to be honest with you, where everything will just shut down, uh, get your, everything will go away quite, quietly. He will still, I'm sure, want to produce um, his content because he can't be arsed get it, doing a, a decent day's work again in his life. He's on, he's, he was on to a sure good thing which saw him jetting around the, the world and the benefits from many of those trips. But his lit literally his Patreon um, people is dropping every single day. It's down to, I don't know what it is now, but it was, in fact, <laughs> Shall we have a quick look? <laughs> it may it may have gone down since um, since since last I checked, which I, I think was last night. I just do this uh, uh, on a you know sort of daily basis to to sort of cheer myself up a, a wee bit. You want with you? But if we look at his uh, Patreon page, as witnesses. Oh God! Don't hear that voice, do we? Whew, gives you the willies. Um, we're down to what well, we're not we're it's not a joint here. Uh, he is down to 637. Last time I looked, I'm sure it was 644. So he's lost another for seven. I'm pretty shit at maths, as you can tell. <laughs> I'm pretty shit at most things, most of uh, So he's, I think he's lost seven in the last couple of days. So it keeps on dropping down to, to a point that maybe he won't be able to fund these lavish uh, trips abroad. But... I'm sure he will continue to produce the um, the Lloyd Evans channel, doing his little chats. There'll still be all the Lloyd dance there. There, I think he's absolutely wonderful. His hair and his beard and his wee double chin and those cheeky wee t-shirts he wears. They will still love him. People will still pay money to him. But as for um, all the inside leaks that he used to get from somebody in the headquarters of the witnesses witness organization who do you think now is going to trust him with any more inside material if i was in the uh, the headquarters of the watchtowers and i had sent him all the stuff that which i actually thoroughly enjoyed to be honest with you. i quite enjoyed those leaks like um, i thought pillowgate was brilliant but who's going to entrust that information uh, to him anymore. I bet that the person who, is, who has been sending Lloyd a lot of leaked stuff is absolutely re regretting that now because they now know that that the information they've shared with him, he on the back of that um, got more patrons on Patreon. 
it got more views and that funded his immoral lifestyle. So I'm sure the, the people have been sending him material, the person regrets doing that and I don't see that happening anymore. So it is, it is the same of the people that he's managed to appear with him. Um, who, who are from the ex-Jehovah's Witness community and not just the ex-Jehovah's Witnesses community all the people who've experts what have you have appeared with him on his channels um, on his channel how many people now if all of a sudden you're getting approached from Lloyd Evans to say I'd like you know I'd like you to appear on a live streaming event how many people now would go anywhere and touch him with a barge pole touch you in with little Lloyd how many people He's going to really struggle to get anybody interested to appear with him again when it comes to any more um, scandal, uh, maybe in relation to Jehovah's Witnesses in uh, Britain, for instance. How many of the broadcasters are going to approach him and say, we'd like uh, your response to the latest scandal in some kingdom hall in some random town in Britain? How many people are going to approach him? That is gone. Do you think Leo Remini's or Mike Rinder are ever going to approach him? Or Netflix, well, I think Netflix should approach him. I'd love to see that TV, that uh, special Netflix is. But uh, they've, again, like I said, they missed the boat on that one. Um, but do you think Rinder and... Um, and Leah Remney are ever wanting to do any sort of collaboration with um, Lloyd Evans ever again. I don't think so. His name is Mud, and the reason why his name is Mud, it's got nothing to do with all the judication from other YouTube users where we've passed our judgments, del deliberated and we've passed our judgments and our findings on the whole debacle, but it is because of Lloyd's own admission, and it, as I've said before, it isn't really admission. At the end of the day is, the man didn't have a, a big pair, big enough, to actually say, it is me, I can only blame me. Instead, as we all know, he blamed his witness upbringing from like 10 years ago for being suppressed sexually. He, he blamed his own wife, which was, oh dear. It's just awful. I blame little Lloyd as well. And then, um, you know, his out of control penis. <laughs> little Lloyd, come back, little Lloyd, come back, you nutty out of control penis. You know, it's just ridiculous. And so, at the end of the day, is um, his legacy has been ruined by his own sex scandal, where he finally, um, um, where we finally had somebody who absolutely blew this apart. And, and that happens the most. You need somebody with, within any sex scandal, you need somebody who's really brave and just stand up and just say, this guy can't talk about this because of this, that and the other. And uh, that's what's brought down all these mega stars and, you know, what have you. It's, you need somebody brave to stand up and that's what's happened in this case. So um, that's it really, um, there's not much more to say about it, his legacy will always be this, it doesn't matter if he can try and um, extort money out of us due to his lack of um, uh, funds anymore, it's not going to work, I'm certainly not paying anything to this guy and if it goes all the way and if he wants to take it further it's going to cost him more money and like i said i think this went to court he would lose big style and then there'd be and then i would have thought you'd get even the likes of newspapers would be interested in this story this isn't going to go away at all his legacy has been tarnished it is ruined he may continue doing his channel but uh, i'm sure he will do it but to the end of the day, it's he. It, the, when we ever in ten years' time, if we're all still here, <laughs> if the Ukraine crisis doesn't, you know, f explode into World War Three, if we're all still here in ten years' time, and we look back on, you know, James Lloyd Evans, we won't think about. Pillowgate, we won't think about Bottlegate, we'll think about Prozzygate, we'll think about Lloydgate, we'll think about um, the, the, his video, which I'm sure for all of us it's probably seared into our minds of how truly awful that was. And his, his legacy is ru ruined. So the end of the day is, sorry Lloyd, the damage was done, the damage was done by yourself, and uh, you need to man up, grow a big hairy pair and actually come onto YouTube and just say, it is, I'm completely to blame. 
I apologise to all the patrons through Patreon who, who've paid me for my activism work and, and I have eroded my trust with them by using those funds for illicit and uh, illegal and criminal means. That's what we need from the man. Until he actually does that. At least Clinton eventually had the balls to go on camera and say, actually, I did. You know, he, he, he did that video and then he actually had the balls of Edgy come on and say, yes, I did. He admitted his guilt. And then there was more further scandal as well um, after that when other people came up. But at least he admitted that one. So I, I think Lloyd needs to do a Clinton, actually do a little video and actually apologise. It'd be nice to see that, but it's not going to happen, is it? Uh, as for the... <laughs> Where did he come from? <clears throat> as for the latest... Um, video that, that uh, has been put up by uh, Kim and Mikey it seems as though some people are going to are going to some awful depths to try and entrap people um, pretending to be uh, a survivor of CSA and what a shame that there are the Lloydites out there who are using entrapment you know to try and get uh, material that they that they actually thought they were speaking to the the this individual. Again, uh, I'm, I'm not going to go into naming names because I, I haven't done, but um, uh, yeah, it's 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 not very nice. It's getting really dirty and unhanded now and it's, um, I don't know what to say. Um, so if you haven't seen it yet, there's a fantastic um, video. Lloyd asked us all to apologise and Capitan is one of the 12, did a fantastic um, apology video to Lloyd Evans. If you haven't seen it yet, go. I'll, I'm going to put it in the description because it's really worth watching, it's fantastic. Uh, me, me was, uh, I was watching it last night and me, me sides were splitting, me sides were splitting at some of the bits, it was really, really good so... There you go, that was his apology. And again, I've as, as I've already reiterated several times, I've already um I've already said, you know, given Lloyd the offer to do a video to apologize for the patrons on Patreon and to donate three thousand uh euros to the uh Ukrainian uh funding and I will remove every bit of Lloyd content, and so uh, I, I, that offer still applies. Uh, but still, I think it came to the 21st, so 13th, so he's still got another eight days. Uh, but to eight days on waiting, after that we'll just just call it a day. So anyway, I'd like to thank you for, again for watching, um, and enjoy the rest of your day. It's quite a nice day here, and I'm going to go and... Uh, do some reading and uh, have a little drink as well and uh, I'll just end on the <laughs> the theme song that um, that uh, James Lloyd Evans could have used if, if his Living in Croatia channel had only gone off so I said he should have used the uh, Knowing Me, Knowing You so I just go Knowing Me, Knowing You Ma that's what he should have done but hey ho that's not that, what a fine legacy he could have had if it's all been about you you and me. Anyway, see you later. Bye-bye. Have fun.